Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will describe and explain why some microorganisms are beneficial and why some microorganisms are harmful. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is I can describe and explain why some microorganisms are beneficial and why some microorganisms are harmful. Before we dive into our video, let's first answer the question, what are microorganisms? Microorganisms are tiny organisms that are invisible to the naked eye. Microorganisms are so small that they can only be seen under a microscope. These include a huge range of organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, algae, protozoa, and the list goes on and on. These microorganisms can be beneficial as well as harmful in many ways. Microorganisms are everywhere from the air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we drink, the floor we stand on. Basically, we are completely surrounded by microorganisms. They are even present inside of our body. Few microorganisms can also withstand extreme conditions like a place as hot as boiling water or a place as cold as ice. Some microorganisms are found alone, while others are found in colonies or groups together. Microorganisms can either be beneficial and helpful for human survival and daily living, while others are disease-causing and toxic enough to make us sick. Now that we've had an official introduction, let's talk about some of the many benefits of microorganisms. Bacteria and humans have many important relationships. Bacteria make our lives easier in a number of ways. In fact, we could not survive without them. Bacteria provide important services for ecosystems. They're important in decomposers that break down dead organisms and return their nutrients back to the soils that help plants grow. They are also needed for carbon and nitrogen cycles. There are billions of bacteria inside the human intestines as well. They help digest food, make vitamins, and play other important roles. Humans also use bacteria in many helpful ways. We use bacteria to make drugs, such as antibiotics and vaccines to help people get better when they are sick. We use bacteria to produce biogas like methane to be used as a fuel or energy source to generate electricity. We use microorganisms to help clean up oil spills and toxic waste to help keep the environment clean. We use some microorganisms to kill plant pests that feed on plants that animals depend on to survive. We also use microorganisms to transfer normal genes to human cells in gene therapy, which can help cure certain diseases and many other benefits. One of the major types of microorganisms we use in our bodies are probiotics. Probiotics are good bacteria that break down fiber and other foods that are normally difficult for our body to digest. Since probiotics help break down food in our stomach, this increases the amount of nutrients we have in our body and boosts our immune system and energy levels. You can take probiotics as a pill supplement or get them from food sources such as yogurt. Quick check for understanding. How are microorganisms beneficial to you and me? Pause the video and take two minutes to write down three benefits and be ready to share out your awesome responses. Now let's move on to harmful microorganisms. There are a number of microorganisms that are responsible for food spoilage, diseases, and infections. Such microorganisms are known as harmful microorganisms. These microbes are also known as pathogens. They are specifically adapted to infect and multiply within a host. Some examples of harmful pathogens include salmonella, E. coli, parasites, and mold. Some diseases caused by pathogens are the common cold, anthrax, HIV, polio, cholera, mumps, rabies, malaria, and the Zika virus. Some microorganisms need a carrier or host to transmit diseases. Bacteria are the most dangerous of all microorganisms and are responsible for several infectious diseases such as tuberculosis, cholera, diphtheria, and many other diseases. Viruses are also responsible for certain fatal diseases such as HIV and AIDS, influenza, and several other fatal diseases. Fungi are also harmful and can lead to certain skin infections and allergies. In summary, some microorganisms are beneficial to us and some microorganisms are harmful to us. We as humans need bacteria and their genes more than you know. 
One of the most important things microbes or microorganisms do for us is to help us digest food. The mix of microbes in your gut can affect how well you use and store energy from food. Microorganisms in our gut can produce pain relieving compounds, antioxidants, and vitamins to protect and nurture our body. Also, they help fight off harmful bacteria that can produce toxins in our body that can cause disease and sickness. Harmful bacteria can cause food to spoil, diseases, and infections. Harmful bacteria often need a host so they can grow and multiply to infect other areas of the body or other organisms. That's why they say in order to keep the germs away, we need to wash our hands after touching anyone who is sneezing, coughing, or blowing their nose. Don't share things like towels, lipstick, toys, or anything else that might be contaminated with respiratory germs. Also, don't share food, utensils, or beverage containers with others. In other words, stay fresh and stay clean. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining why some microorganisms are beneficial and why some microorganisms are harmful by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency. Record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep, keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code or contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.